You may recall at the end of my last build video that I said that I was going to use my holiday season to build a wing. Well, it didn't quite happen, but I did record a lot of video, and I'm sure you don't want to watch all of that video. So what I'm going to do is create a short video montage, which should be a pretty good summary of what I worked on. So here's that video. I hope you enjoy it.
In order to line up these skins properly, there is one good measurement here, and that's 19 inches from this edge of the bottom of the spar here, right where this little sort of a rounded turn here. Um, and there's a flat spot on the end of the spar, and if you measure in 19 inches from there, that's where the center of this bolt for the rear spar should be located. Uh, again, this is the bottom of my spar, so I've got this flat spot here that I was talking about, and then if I measure from here to here, that's 19 inches, uh, and then this center of the hole here for my spar should be lined up with that. Uh, that's not a very easy measurement to make in the shop, um, and so I'm just gonna use that as reference. Uh, this is the end of the spar down here. So what I've done is drawn another line here, um, a quarter inch from the edge of the end of the spar, and that's where the second hole in my skin is gonna line up, is right along that. So provided that all of these holes along the bottom of the skin are attached into my rear spar, and then this second hole lines up with this line. That means that my ribs are lined uh, perpendicular to the spar, and that this is lined up properly. And if I put that all into place, I should then be able to check down here to make sure that this is at 19 inches uh, from the end of the spar here. All right, and then just to back up uh, my theory that it should be true, I've taken a piece of my wife's crocheting uh, yarn here, tied a big knot in the back to stick it through the hole where it sticks, and then I've put it up here and taped it to the back of the uh, spar here, right where, you can see where I drew my line earlier. And if I just kind of snap the wire here, it'll drop down, and you can see that it's lined up perfectly at 19 inches. Uh, so I'm gonna say that this is uh, exactly where it needs to be. All these lines seem to line up in the skin and the ribs underneath, so this is, this is where I want it to be.
obviously there's still quite a bit of work left to do. I still have to up drill to the eighth inch, uh, do all the deburring, uh, reassemble everything. I have to do some dimpling on the forward skin um, and adding flush rivets to it. Uh, so there's quite a bit still left to do, um, but I am happy with the progress I'm making considering the amount of time I've had to put into this. So uh, I will make another video as I have time. I'm actually going out of town again for work for a couple of weeks and uh, won't have the opportunity to work on it again at that time. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. If you're still here with me, thanks for hanging out. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so and uh, we'll see you on the next video. See ya.